Namaste and a very, very good morning to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, uh, The Outlier. In my last video, uh, we saw how to pull out uh, certain basic statistics uh, for a data set. Uh, we looked at how to obtain a minimum, maximum, 25th percentile, 50th percentile, 75th percentile. In addition to it, we also saw how we can uh, extract uh, count, uh, how we can round off uh, to the first two decimals uh, using a NumPy uh, library. In this uh, particular presentation, we will be seeing how to do a frequency distribution table. Now, I'm still working on the IRIS data set. To do a frequency distribution table, remember that uh, it is uh, most appropriate uh, to do a frequency distribution table for a categorical variable. When you have a scale variable, when you have a continuous uh, variable, uh, it uh, is not very, uh, uh, it is not appropriate to do a frequency distribution uh, table. So in your data set, if you have uh, a categorical variable like gender, marital status, state, caste, region, religion, uh, for all these variables, a frequency distribution is uh, applicable. To do a frequency distribution table, let me import a pandas uh, library. Import pandas as pd. Right. Now we all are familiar with uh, how uh, uh, easily uh, we can do a pivot table in uh, a spreadsheet. Right. Now pivot table is very very uh, useful uh, and. Uh, a lot of people use a pivot table uh, in their day-to-day -day, uh, work. Uh, if you recall a pivot table uh, from a spreadsheet, uh, you will be specifying a variable along the row, another variable along the column, and then you'll be giving the summary statistic. That is, you can take a row count or you can take a column uh, count or a percentage, whatever you want you can do uh, as far as a pivot table is concerned. Now, the, same, uh, the same concept is uh, more or less applicable here as well. Now, in Pandas, uh, we have a function, a very, very useful and a very powerful function, which is known as the cross tab function. I repeat, it's a function in Pandas, which is known as the cross tab function. So let me just use uh, this particular function, pd dot cross tab. Uh, I'll have to uh, specify uh, the arguments for this. Now, one of the first uh, arguments uh, that I'll be specifying is the index variable. Now, uh, when you're specifying uh, the index variable, uh, remember, you have to be careful. Index variable is that variable for which you need the count, the value counts for, right? Now, you can specify uh, a categorical variable here. So in this particular data set, iris data set, I've got a categorical variable uh, known as species, right? So I can uh, access this particular variable species uh, from... Uh, uh, the iris data set i have to be uh, slightly uh, sensitive to the spe uh, to the case here because uh, pandas is uh, uh, python is case uh, sensitive so uh, i need the distribution for the variable uh, species now insofar as the column is concerned right insofar as uh, my column is concerned all that i need to specify is frequency this is what I would need. I would need the distribution of the various uh, flowers. Let me execute it. Right. Now you can see here, once you fire this particular query, what happens is that uh, uh, the variable species, which is a categorical variable, it is broken down into three different sets of flower, setosa, versicolor, and uh, virginica. Now, since we have uh, asked for the frequency for this particular variable, what uh, crosstab does is uh, for corresponding to each category in this particular variable species, it gives me the frequency count, which means that uh, there are 50 setosa flowers in this particular data set. There are 50 versicolor data sets, uh, versicolor uh, flowers uh, in this particular data set. And uh, you have again 50 uh, virginica flowers uh, in this particular data set. So this is how you can see how easily you can uh, uh, display the frequency distribution table using the cross tab function using the cross tab function in the pandas uh, library. We are gonna work uh, and see more of uh, cross tab uh, in my uh, upcoming videos. Uh, with this, I come to the end of uh, this presentation. I'll see you in my uh, next video. I kindly request you to subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, press the like button.